Hello everybody, welcome to another All Maverick Reaction where we are still watching our way through Lost with me, Alan, Hello. Jez, Tom, uh, we are on <laughs> Jazz Hands. I went brave this time after hitting my hands. <laughs> <laughs> we are on Lost, Season 1, Episode 18, and this one is called Numbers. Tom, who do you think this one's about? Early. How would you know that, Tom? Is it because Amazon Prime keeps ruining it for you with thumbnails? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's I genuinely making Tom mad. Yeah, I had said off camera, I feel bad for complaining about it, but it is slightly annoying. That you keep getting a little thumbnail pop up at the bottom of the previous episode. It just had a picture of Hurley's big face. I wish it just had lost. It just said lost. That was it. Just said lost. Do you think this one's about Hurley, Jess? Yeah, and I, this is so, um, the last episode. You got triggered, like a triggered moment. my memory. I had a moment, and I'm pretty <laughs> confident. I know what this episode is about. There we go. So, oh my God. Com Jez. pretty confident. Jez is pretty confident. For yeah. the first time, we're on episode 18. We've had 17 <laughs> episodes where Jez hasn't been confident. He's remembered little tiny bits. You remembered actually the wheelchair bit with Lock? I knew the wheelchair bit with Lock. Um, yeah. yeah. That's about it, right? <laughs> yeah. That's a bit about it. So, Jeremy suddenly got hit by a bolt of inspiration. Should we get on and yes. see if you're right? Yeah, okay, so here we go. This is Lost Season 1, Episode 18, Numbers. Three, two, one, and go. We could use something to send out a distress call to any ship that might be close. Didn't say you'd see that crazy Fred chick had batteries? You've got her maps and her papers. Now, you thought that they were pointing to something. For all I know, there could be the ravings of her disturbed mind. Song lyrics well, mixed with equations. I'm sorry, you're screwing up in a ball, mate. Hurley's going to look at me like, oh, I know. <laughs> then you should know she resides here. I'll he knows. Speaking, but I suggest you find an oh, was he on like the numbers right or whatever that show was called? <laughs> number Wang. <laughs> That's number Wang. <laughs> Four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, and twenty-three with the mega number forty-two. Holy shit! That's what I remembered. Yeah. One, yeah. He did. He did tell. Um, well, he was a millionaire. Oh, uh, he did, because he had 83 <laughs> million or thousand, whatever. 83 million dollars or something. Yeah, this is my brother, Diego, and his wife, Lisa. Woo, we're rich! <laughs> <laughs> you ain't rich for shit, Diego. And, uh, That'll be my brother. That's really what it's all about for me, to be able to do things for the people I care about. Oh, no. You know, get to do some of the things that we always wanted to do. As you say, because he died on the plane. Now, didn't remember that bit. <laughs> see someone else in the in the coffin. Just thought I might take a walk. Uh, maybe scope out some uh, new fishing area. Oh, well, hang on, I'll come with. That's okay. No, I could use a little bit of the fresh wide open. Dude, I could really use some alone time right now. I'm looking for someone to go take a huge yeah. shit, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this could be massive. Do you know how much fruit we've been eating? It's going to be a proper strain, so he needs water. Yeah. Yeah, you need something to wash it off after. The guy, I get dehydrated easy. Hell yeah, I've always wanted a hummer. Look at that. I can see you. That ass. Yeah, I can see you. Man, I would have so good, such a good type. And that would be my mum as well. <laughs> Where are you taking me? You know very well I don't like surprises. I mean, after everything you've been through, like Grandpa, you know, ever since I won the lottery, it's like we've had nothing but bad luck. Okay, we're almost there. Here. With a song. <laughs> right. fucking... We're going to Crips now. Yeah, I was going to say, they fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> His mum gets drive by. Okay, now. Take off your blindfold. Oh. Yeah, look at your new dream house. I'm my uncle. Oh, my uncle. Oh. Oh, so you can take off your blindfold. Why did you make me put that in the first place? Oh, Hugo, do I smell smoke? Oh crap. Hang on, Ma, I gotta call 911. Yes, that's him, I broke my ankle! What is on fire? <laughs> hmm? Oh. He was getting arrested. <laughs> that is no such thing as curses, huh, Ma? Oh. Your sneaker factory. That's the therapist from the latest episode of Angel we watched. Well, not anymore. It was destroyed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. On our react angel reaction yeah, season, was, he's the yeah. one with the rot, yeah. with, the, with the, the stick. stick. Yeah. But the good news is we overinsured it. Check that out, everyone. Yeah. What? That's it. It's not the money, it's the numbers. The numbers are cursed. Dude, don't look at me like that. I'm not crazy. 
This is real. Come on, Hugo, listen to yourself. The numbers are cursed. You know there is no such thing as a... <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you, the fuck? you might have missed it, but Hugo bought a box company. Yeah, they were just talking about owning a box company there. When did that happen? They just said that he owned yeah. a box company. Yeah, but when did yeah. he buy it? Well, well, no, one, one of the shares, it bought him a box company. Um, Locke worked for a box company, uh, if you remember. What do you guys do not move. You're standing on a pressure trigger. If you take your weight off it, it will release that. Punchy steaks. There it is. Oh my god. Oh man. I can make it. Hurley, don't move. No. I can get out of the way. I'm spry. Oi. I'm spry. Hurley, stay Oi. put. No, I'm Hurley. spry. Hurley, don't even. Yeah. Yeah. Lenny. His name is Lenny. Or Leonard. But you don't know his last name. Look, I just need to talk to him for five minutes. I'm sorry, but if you can't tell me the person's name, sir, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> fucking Leonard's are here. Just, just, can't you just type in Leonard? I mean, the guy's been here for like ever. He knows me. Our records are private, sir. Fuck that <laughs> name, <laughs> boy. Wait, that guy needs to have a Do not lunch. do that right now. <laughs> Leave the ball for another time, man. <laughs> Look, Lenny, I gotta know. What do the numbers mean? Yeah. You use those numbers to play the lottery? Uh, yeah. Hey, you shouldn't have done that. Well, I know that now, You opened the box. I watched. Oh, you shouldn't have used a number. Why not? It doesn't stop. Well, you gotta get away from those numbers. You gotta get the box, box. yeah. You <laughs> 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 did. <laughs> It's a weird link for sure. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. I need some ass, sir. You need to step away. Whoa. Hmm. Never mentioned anything about a bridge. Send Harley first. <laughs> yeah. Right, quite surprised. Hurley, what are you doing? Relax. <laughs> Don't matter when you're in the middle of a bridge and it collapses. Unless <laughs> he can fly. Dudes, chill. He's got light, light feet. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. It's those fucking planks. I'd run across it as quick as I could. Just in case. I go crawl across on my hands and knees. <laughs> the dog you are. Yeah. And I'll definitely have my legs out wider, so I might kind of stand on the plank slash rope. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely weakened that bridge for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Charlie. Charlie falls to his death. Hey. He instantly dies. So he's gone forever. Charlie. Oh, fucked it. Dude, you okay? Wow. How far apart? Oh. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right there. Rick Flair right over there. there. <laughs> There's a path right here, Charlie. Holy, will you shut up and listen to Jack? He said, "Stay put." You're acting like a bloody lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was a lunatic though. Yeah. You don't like that? No, I, I, I'd probably slap. Well, I'd slap Charlie anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Conversation for Charlie continues. Jack. Good now. The hell was that? Why'd she put the mind though into the trip? Uh, just as a way of an alarm. Uh, Fuck me. Hell of a security system. Uh, there you go. Somebody trips a wire and the whole place blows yeah. up. Jack and Zane could be hurt if not blown to bits, all because you're acting like some bloody nutter. Oh, we didn't like that. I am not crazy. About a year ago. Uh oh. Hands up. Hands up. Mm -hmm. Someone shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Someone shooting. <laughs> <laughs> leave his, leave your mate behind there, Charlie. Stop Charlie. Please, tell me why you wrote this. What do these numbers mean, please? I don't know. I want some friggin' answers! Blows <laughs> him away. 360 no scope. Yeah. 
<laughs> I suppose you're right. They are cursed. Thank you. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for someone to agree with me. Thank you. Oh, God, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe that just means you're just as crazy as the woman who's been living by herself for uh, yeah. God knows how many yeah, years. Jungle. Early. What the hell happened here? Need a battery? She says, hey. <laughs> she says, hey. <laughs> 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 so I feel like the episode's about to end, like I'm ready to turn. Ended, it's not finished. It's not finished, Tom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so worried about seeing the next bit, the, the next episode thing. It's going to end any minute, though. It's usually when music starts playing. Yeah. You think you're the only person with baggage? Shut you know up. I was not <laughs> in heroin. In the toilet. I just told you the biggest secret in my life. Okay. Back home, I'm worth a hundred and fifty six million dollars. <laughs> Fine, don't tell me. <laughs> I bet didn't deserve soul. to know. I don't like it. <laughs> Charlie vents all the time, but one time I heard it, it was like, I think it's me. He's like, Just don't tell me. I don't care. He's at the bottom of my list. Lower than Shannon? Yep. Oh shit, we got the hatch. Oh shit. I'm looking away. It's gonna be it. <laughs> so, there we go. That was Lost Season 1, Episode 18. Numbers 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. Hmm. What do you think of that one? First of all, how much of it did you remember? I remembered the lottery win. You remember the lottery and win? I knew that I remember the numbers were his lottery numbers were linked to the island. Yeah, with something. Yeah, something. Um, that's all I remembered. I didn't okay. remember the bad luck or anything else. But you did, but there was a little bit in here that it was, you it was the TV. When we saw him on TV, it just sparked a memory. That he won the lottery. Oh, I remember he won the lottery. Oh, the numbers he won the lottery with yeah. were linked to the island. But that's pretty yeah. much it. Yeah. So we finally got a Hurley episode. Mm -hmm. Tom, was it worth the wait? Well, yeah. Because finally <laughs> actually drove this, the actual... So this is the most story island field episode we've had for a little while. I yeah, think. I think, yeah. I mean, last episode, obviously, we got bits to do with the raft and more stuff there. But this was very focused on... This is focused on not just the island, I guess, but just on the mystery of the whole thing. So... I'm just going to put it out there. Yeah. Along with the Locke episode and yeah. the first Sawyer episode. Yeah. This is my other favourite. Is it? Yeah, oh, so okay. Fun. Wow, yeah. there we go. I did enjoy it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, what particularly did you like about this one? Just like the whole thing. I think I, I, I think it's similar to what Tom said about one of the other episodes. I can't remember whose episode it was now. Um, damn, I can't remember what episodes <laughs> I've already seen today. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I would have been happy. I could have watched a whole episode of just... Oh, what, 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 you were saying, what Tom yeah. was saying about the Sawyer episode. The Sawyer episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I could have just watched a whole episode just on... On like what, what happened was, what was going on with the early. island, yeah. Oh, and there's so much going on in the island as well. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Tom? How was this one for you? Good, good. Still enjoying it? Yeah, definitely. I think it was a bit slower. Yeah. And the bear had a lot more to think about. Which so what? Was good. What do you think about the numbers? I don't know. I don't really know what to tell you about the numbers. There's I would, obviously something about. Them. I would say that, like, and this isn't really a spoiler. Um, just keep an eye on numbers in general in Lost. Like those numbers pop up a lot. I'm I'm pretty sure their flight number was uh, two of the numbers. I can't remember what their yeah, okay. their flight from Australia was, but I'm pretty sure it was two of those numbers. It was like the four 
the 442 or something like that or something like that yeah, or the 1623 like or something like that related to lost i've heard someone talk about numbers yeah hmm. don't know if it's a quote from the show or something the numbers are quite a prominent yeah, okay are quite a prominent feature like they do pop up a lot well obviously all these characters are going to have something related to do with those numbers now mm -hmm. something to keep an eye something to keep an eye on throughout mm. so yeah so we, we got to see a lot of like cursed hurley mm. um and it's just like walt isn't it yeah well, except from his only happened after he used those numbers but with walt i don't know unless he was baby number four eight blah 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 <laughs> yeah yeah well, they also said that, well, well, what was a bit different, right, in a way? Because, like, you know, Brian or whatever said that he was the luckiest guy he'd ever met, yeah. wasn't he? So, like, almost in a way, Walt's almost got, like, luck. Like, I mean, granted, it wasn't like his fucking mum died and stuff like yeah, that, but, but you it's, know. It's the same as Hurley, because yeah, she was saying, lucky things how could you be cursed? Because yeah. they were in a car crash and their husband was completely fine, so it's exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's He's identical. lucky, but people around yeah. him, not yeah, so yeah. much. It's <laughs> identical to Walt's yeah. uh, thing, so that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, here's a question for you. Obviously, Kurt, uh, Hurley met the guy who got the numbers in the insane asylum. Lenny. 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 What, was, what was Hurley doing in the asylum? The... I'm no sure we'll see that in a future <laughs> yeah. flashback, but yeah, no idea. for now, no idea. Like, because obviously it started off, he was just work, uh, obviously had come back from his work at the chicken shop and was eating chicken. Yeah, he made that a comment it? when he was chatting to the cameras about how he'd put his pair, he's put his mum through a lot of stuff, a lot of right? stuff over the last few months. He said, so I don't yeah. know whether that's whether that's linked or not. Uh -huh. His mum said didn't seem great. No, I have no idea. No, it's a good episode. Yeah, like, it. you don't really. This is one. Hurley's one of those characters who, like, I think, like, whatever his backstory was, it was going to be a surprise because yeah. we just knew so little about him compared to some yeah. of the other characters. Yeah, I think it was, I don't know, his family was a bit weird. I think his granddad, Tito, was all right, but his mum seemed like she didn't really care too much about him. Mm. I think... She kind of was a bit mean to him, and his brother yeah. kind of seemed like he popped up out of nowhere to use him for the money. Yeah. Obviously, we don't really know that part. And then he left the country or something after his yeah. wife left him for another woman or something like that. And yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I think it's more that, like, so he was in this place when, like you say, where people would go, like, how can you be cursed when you've, how can you be cursed when, you know, you've got this. You've won the lottery. When you've won the lottery. Yeah. And when he finally just got to hear. Um, Russo? Yeah. Or you know, Lenny? Yeah, well, yeah, Russo saying about, you know, about the. Now, who was it who said to him that they that he was cursed? Um, the lady. The lady was that. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said how long he's been waiting to hear. Yeah, yeah. Russo. Sorry, Russo, when Russo said that, he said how long he's been waiting yeah, to actually hear to somebody agree. With agree, because um, obviously those numbers are what brought her to the island. Uh, Lenny also had heard them whilst working in a yeah. whilst working in a um, military base thing. Had heard them coming across the radio and. Along with his friend, who had obviously mm. they'd cursed him as well, so quite a lot more sort of uh, mystery to that side of it. Yeah. A little bit like we spoke about last episode, with that slightly out there, otherworldly mm. mystery to everything. Yeah, I don't know if those numbers are going to be for the rest of the show, as in all seasons, or mm -hmm. it's going to end at the end of this series and then something new will start next time. But it's interesting. But it's like it's almost like. I don't know, maybe Russo was the only one that knew about those numbers in her group. Yeah. And then that somehow gave bad luck to someone else and the same things happened to Hurley. She used the numbers in some way like Hurley did because obviously like that was the thing, wasn't it? When people used the numbers, they were kind of then... Yeah, gained from it, yeah. That's what, when they gained something from the numbers, it started taking back mm -hmm. from other people around them. Yeah. I wonder what... Well, I guess Lenny was uh, debilitated by the numbers because... Sam, his friend, who he went to see the wife of, yeah. gained some luck from the numbers, and that ruined Lenny in a way. Yeah, Lenny had gone in, obviously gone insane, hadn't he, in some fashion, and the numbers yeah. had properly done a, done a number on him. By so I don't think he his... gained anything from it. No, I don't think so. He didn't seem to. He didn't talk about it. Well, because when when Hurley said to him that he'd used the numbers to win the lottery, he was like, "Oh, you shouldn't have done that," yeah. and like started freaking out, started freaking out about it. Um, but I did like the little things in here, like, you know, when we found out he was a millionaire, like the little callbacks to when he'd been playing uh, games with Walt. 
and he'd yeah. been and you know Walt's like yeah he's played back and he's like he owes me eighty three thousand dollars you know and like <laughs> and he uh, could pay it too <laughs> yeah and he's like yeah yeah I'm good for it like it's like you know before it's just like a joke like, yeah I, it was if, just a silly joke right like somebody yeah. playing somebody playing backgammon with a kid and just being like oh I'll bet you a thousand dollars because you're on an island what does it really mean it's actually <laughs> yeah you don't think anything of it at the yeah. time he is good for it being he's got 150 million yeah that bit at the end with Charlie was pretty funny what were he just, t- yeah. he just like walked away well not if you're he's not like, if you're Tom. don't tell me the truth then not if you're Tom that wasn't funny for Tom no. Charlie didn't deserve the truth <laughs> Hurley like <laughs> yeah. Charlie vents to people all the time and then Hurley goes to like tell him well, Hurley wants to vent a bit and be like, oh, I think I caused this, blah, blah. Charlie's like, no, it wasn't you. You don't feel... We've all got problems. I was in the it's toilet like, doing heroin. Imagine Locke, the first time Charlie spoke to him, just went, we've all got problems, move on. <laughs> like, <laughs> then they would never be friends. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie's just... He's, what, he's a the, user, isn't he, Tom? These last four episodes, he's gone from up here, or maybe not up here, to like well under you the You see below Shannon. Yeah. He's, he's he's below Shannon. Yeah. He's he's below Shannon now. He he's, said that near the end. He's like, below, he's the worst now. Is he below the extras? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd rather see Rose than have him. He could disappear. <laughs> Poor Charlie. It's shame he didn't yeah, die on the bridge. Charlie. It's a shame he didn't yeah. die on the bridge. It's been a hard four episodes for old Charlie in, in yeah. Tom's books. I'm sorry. Like, For all you Charlie fans out there, this is probably quite <laughs> divisive, I it's, imagine. It's funny because at the start of... If you are a Charlie fan, give... Let Tom know. Yeah. Chuck some shade to Tom in the comments. Yeah. A few episodes ago, I was like, you know what? I like him, but I don't like him kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You said, yeah. I changed my mind. No, you just don't like him at all. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't like him at all. He's done. He's done. So the new the new raft is coming along quite well as well. Obviously, yeah. they want to put... they want. Well, that was part of why they went out, or at least it was her, his cover story for why he was going yeah. out looking, was so that he could go and try and find a battery to use so they could try and communicate with yeah. other boats and stuff like that. So Gin, like Jin's help now as well. Yeah, Jin, with Jin's help, so he's not doing much. Along. He seems to be the quality controller. He's sitting <laughs> yeah. on his chair watching. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, Michael was like, why don't you do something? And then when all that those sticks fell apart, so he just got up and walked away. <laughs> yeah. like, what a twat. <laughs> <laughs> I do what, find it funny. That's what it's like. Yeah. He's, what good. It's like. he's good. He's good. I like yeah. him. No, it was a good episode. And obviously the numbers were then we saw at the end were kind of etched yeah. on the side of the hatch as well. Hmm, yeah. Mm. Suspicious stuff, eh? Yeah, well obviously someone had been to that island and like Russo said, was transmitting the signal for the hatch numbers. So whatever's down that hatch is... Uh, yeah, because that's what we secret. found out, right? That the, the signal that was transmitting that she replaced with her signal What's the used, to be, used to be the numbers yeah. that was transmitting... Transmitting from there. What? We know there's a tower. Yeah, we know there's a, ta- we know there's yeah. a tower somewhere near the Black Rock, Yeah, apparently. Yeah. yeah, whatever's in that hatch is going to be the... Obviously, I knew about the hatch. And you, that's something you did know, the hatch or... existed, right? That was one of the things that you knew from being a kid when you'd like caught an episode at But some not point. the numbers or anything like that. No. But I assume once they get in that hatch, maybe in like pff, halfway through next season or whatever, like that's going to set up the entire rest of the show, all the other seasons is them understanding what it is and trying to see what they can do about it, I guess. So I'd be interesting to know at this point, we're getting towards the end of season one. Mm-hmm. How many episodes have we got left? I think we've got three or four oh, left wow, of this okay, season. Cool. This was episode, that was episode 18. Yeah. Um, how do you, where are your, like who are your few favourite characters? Mm-hmm. We know you fucking hate Charlie, with that much is abundantly clear. We know Shannon's near the bottom as well. <laughs> who are the top few for you? I guess I have like five characters. Okay, who are you? T- who are the top five? Well, two of them come in a pair. Is that Michael and Walt? And Son and Jin. Okay. I, I like the pairs. Okay. The, I like the dynamic of two different people. Yeah. And uh, who else is up there? I like Sawyer, but I think Saeed. I like Saeed. Saeed. I think he's good. So, well, I was counting the pairs as four people. Oh, oh, they, oh right, okay. I, right, but okay. If we count them as individual, then it'll be four, I'd say. Son and Jin. Michael and Walt, Saeed and Sawyer. Okay, so they're your. That's quite your a lot of characters. To be fair. Well, it's that's good to top it... three names, six names. <laughs> yes, for a top three names, six names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's okay. So well, it's it's good that you like a lot of characters. So Locke doesn't make the top for you. Oh, I didn't even see. I didn't even think about him. And in this one, we got to see Locke now making a making a crib. He's always doing something for someone, isn't he? I told you from my memories of the show when I first watched it, Locke and Sawyer are my. 
Lock and Sawyer two. were my two. Probably Definitely my top three. They were probably my top two. Yeah. I would say. I, I think, think Lock is the best character. Mm -hmm. but that doesn't make him my favorite. He's no. just the best one. Yeah, but yeah. he's not. He's most interesting, I guess. Yeah, maybe like he's, he, is, he yeah. knows everything. He's interesting because he knows more than he says. Do you think him. Lock is genuine? Like, do you think when he when he talks to people, when he does things to try and help people, do you think he's genuinely? interested in them or do you think he's doing it for himself or do you think it's like some, something no, I think else? he's generally genuinely interested in them I yeah. think you can see potential in people like he said several times and and no one ever saw that in him when he couldn't you mm -hmm. know he's in a wheelchair and doing a boxing job but he was actually he knows yeah. as we can see he knows a lot of stuff yeah. what do you think it's a bit of both a bit of both yeah I think there is some manipulation there yeah so I think so. I don't think it was a spoiler when I mentioned. I think that if we didn't take such big gaps in between this, you might have picked up when they said about Hurley now owning a box company. Yeah. Because because they've spoken a couple of times about the fact that that yeah, Lock works at a box it, company. Yeah. So he mentioned we found it out when they were first in his one. Well, he's like his first flashback episode, and in that episode when he was walking with Boone in the woods, when Boone was asking him what he did before, <laughs> he said I work for a box company, and he was like, a box company, like. <laughs> And it's like, it has to be the same box company, right? Because yeah. why would you just pick a box company? Yeah, no, it's too much of a coincidence. Yeah. It's quite funny when you saw that guy fall past the window yeah. in the background. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. Or the guy changing the light bulb was a nice... Yeah. Was a, but they're a, not people close to him, though, are they? That's the only but thing I, I, I think, I think at that, some point just, he just means... Just clo like, just physically, actually yeah. clo physically close yeah. to him. Mm -hmm. Bad things That's happen. what I was wondering. I didn't know if they were taking things... I guess if you Taking are, people that are... Close to him, or... yeah, like personally, like emotionally, yeah. But I guess those people that are emotionally close to him are just regularly close, close to him, yeah. Um, but no, I thought it was a yeah, no, I yeah. thought it was a really good episode. Yeah, it's a shame it was so good that there's just too much to think about that I can't I haven't been able to process it since we finished it. Like I'm sure in an hour's time, you'll I'm suddenly be go. Like, yeah. yeah, so we'll be in the car and you'll go. Ah, oh, damn it! I should have mentioned. <laughs> yeah. Should have mentioned. This. I will do. It was a very. It was a very um, focused. That episode was very focused on a few people. Yeah. Uh, like we didn't get a. We didn't get lots of bits of everybody apart from like occasionally seeing someone in the background. It was very like Hurley, Charlie, Saeed, Jack. It was very like those yeah. those four. Yeah. The not much happened for Jack. He was just kind of no. He there. was just kind of the long but, for the ride. Yeah, obviously Charlie and Hurley chatted a bit, and then Saeed knows now that well, she blew up her thing, found yeah. the picture of Nadia, and yeah. knows that Hurley has now met the lady. I think but, that, sorry, Tom. Well, that, that, that was it. That was it. Um, I think outside of that is obviously just the Claire and Lock. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah there, there, a little bit. It was funny when, when as soon as we saw that wide shot, you went, "Oh, it's a crib." And then she went, what were we even making? It's like, yeah, come on, fucking sort your head out. Come on, what do well, you think? she did lose her memory. Maybe she's never seen a crib. Any. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's only lost the memory of the last few weeks on the yeah. island. Um, no, another another strong episode. I mean, I think this is why everyone kind of loved Lost when it launched. Because it was like, it didn't have a weak episode. No. At least in the first season. And I, and I personally don't think it had a lot of weak episodes throughout its whole run. But season one is just like... Strong episode, strong episode, strong episode. I think out of the eighteen, there's only been like one or two that have like been average on. Average, but I mean, like none yeah. of they them are poor. none of them no, are bad. Them are yeah. yeah, that's why like they're so good that when you do see one that you think it's not so great, it's really disappointing because the others are yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's been awesome. It's been uh, the last four episodes, five, however, like Michael and Walt included, it's just been so good. It's been so good. The Apart last from Charlie, episodes. eh? Yeah, but like I said. I do, do hate him a bit. <laughs> do hate him a bit. But do you think he can redeem himself for you, Tom? What's it going to take for Charlie to redeem himself in your eyes? I don't know. Him to actually start getting a level head, thinking about other people apart yeah. from Claire. Yeah. And even himself. That is thing. He's very... So he doesn't even think about himself. Yeah, he's very focused on Claire, isn't he? Like, that's it. That's, it. that's the only he person he really needs... cares about. His, his friendship with Hurley does sometimes feel quite one one way. Yeah, he's not very empathetic. Like I said, he always vents and opens or like tells people all his yeah. bad stories. But as soon as Hurley started like trying to vent a bit, he's like, "Do you think you're the only one with problems?" It's like, <laughs> "Shut up!" Like, what? <laughs> I'm not going to call him a mean word. <laughs> it's not very nice. Well. Anything else we want to talk about in this episode, or are we are we good? Are we I'm done good. for numbers? I think we're going to see 
Mm, if not this season, next Russo's going to chip over to the camp. Or yeah, at least he's actually going to be. We're going to see her a lot yeah. more. So, I think uh, we've. Yeah. I think every one of our main characters has now had finally had an episode, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, now we've had Hurley. Hurley yeah. was our last one. I think. Every, yeah. I don't think anybody hasn't. No, no, no. I don't think so. Yeah. It's been good. No, yeah. it's been. It's good to finally have every character we know a bit more about. Them. A bit of more backstory about everybody. We need a Russo one next. I think that's what's coming. You want a Russo one? Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. I think Russo's going to start hanging out there to see if they all go crazy like her group did and, like, you know, just chat with Hurley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not this season, but at least at some point soon. The, the thing with the interesting thing with Hurley is people like him, right? Like, even Russo kind of like, yeah. you know, they. He's, he's very approachable and, you know, opens up so people feel like they can open up with him too. I mean, you know, Saeed was like, she's never going to give us a battery. And then Hurley turns up and she's like, he's like, here you go. Oh, she said to say hi. <laughs> like, you know, they kind of, people are very, they think people find him very quick and easy yeah. to, easy to relate to. Mm-hmm. He's, he's great. Well, there we go. So that was Lost Season 1, Episode 18, Numbers. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. If there was any fun little spots in there where the numbers popped up. There was The numbers did pop up one place next to like in, and I've already forgotten where it was. Like They were, they were somewhere else in there. They happened. Um, please let us know. Remember, no spoilers for things coming ahead. Tom doesn't, Tom's never seen it, Jez doesn't remember it. If you've enjoyed this, please remember to head over to allmaverick.com where you can check out our videos, our blogs, our podcasts. You can also go to twitch.tv forward slash allmaverick.live where we stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening, plus the odd other one in between that. Uh, come and see us playing some of our favourite games. And if you look in the description below, you can see all of our social channels, the most important one being our Discord server. Join the Discord server, come and chat to us. We love chatting on there with yeah. all of the fans. All the Charlie fans. All the Charlie fans. All the Charlie fans. Come and join. Represent for Tom. If you could all come and join and change your name to Charlie and put your face as Charlie's face. If we could get a few of you in there, that would be great. Yeah. Just harassing Tom. We genuinely do like talking with everybody about your ideas, to see programs, movies, games, all that stuff. So please come along and join us there. Remember, you can check out all our other reaction shows. We'll put some links to some at the end of this. We're filming Moon Knight. I imagine by the time this goes out, Moon Knight's probably just finished. I think Moon Knight's oh, you know what? Really finished. I right. think that season finale was shocking. Yeah, it was. I can't believe Charlie was in it. <laughs> I can't was believe, pissed. Can't was believe pissed. Charlie popped up in the season finale for Moon Knight. <laughs> Crazy. By the time this goes out, we'll probably be on... We'll just be about the start Obi-Wan. of Obi Wan. Obi Wan. Yeah. So here you go. We're probably watching Obi Wan right now. Yeah. What a great first episode that was. Or I'm really excited for that, uh, that first episode that's about to come out. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Cheers, Bye, all.